Yo, what's good, Granny Gang? It's Granny back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about workwear, outfit ideas, and essentials. So in this video today, I'm going to break down this Americana workwear type style, which honestly is kind of rooted and tied together within each other. But I haven't really gave my two cents on this type of style on this channel yet. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that for y'all today. I'm also going to break down some outfit ideas within my closet, even though I wouldn't say that I have a workwear type style. I do have some pieces to put together some different outfits. So make sure you guys watch the entire video all the way through. You're not gonna wanna miss any of these gems, I'm telling you. Also, you gotta follow the boy on Instagram, man. I'm not even gonna talk about it too much because y'all that follow it, y'all know what goes down on Instagram, man. I'm telling you. But lastly, make sure y'all go down and smash the like button. We've been growing like crazy. We just hit 85,000 subscribers and that's all from y'all just interacting with the videos and stuff. So make sure you do that. Subscribe if you have yet and we're gonna hop right into the video now i do have a couple of different categories within this video that kind of breaks down this whole style but one thing that i did want to go ahead and throw in there is that this particular workwear type of look is really easy to build a wardrobe around and you guys will kind of be able to tell later on throughout the video but all of the different pieces and the different color combinations is really easy to mix and match with each other so if you start buying these certain pieces and plugging them into your wardrobe as essentials you really gonna get the most out of your closet now with that being said i wanted to break down a couple of different colors within this style now the colors is going to be super important because this is how you're going to be able to color block your outfits now i definitely say tonal colors is going to be a huge factor within this style you're going to see a lot of different shades of greens specifically when it comes to tops and and bottoms you're gonna see like your dark greens your forest greens olive greens light greens any type of different shade of green you could probably think of is probably gonna be within this category you also have some other like blacks and like washed out grays type stuff which kind of moves me into the muted colors in this joint now muted is gonna be like your more washed out or distressed type colors or even like some pastel so you might see some lavenders in there you might see some like ashy pinks and purples you might see some like light color blues just like a, a pastel type of look now since this is workwear you're also gonna see a lot of bright colors like orange now usually the orange is gonna be very vibrant because you want to be able to see people when they're doing specific works like construction and stuff like that so definitely going to see that color you're definitely going to see your khakis in there you're definitely going to see your denims in there as well Now, next up, we have brands. Now, these specific brands are going to be ones that you're going to see the most often and they're going to be the most known and solidified when it comes to carrying the essential pieces for this workwear type stuff. We're going to go ahead and crack it right off with Dickies. Now, Dickies obviously has been around for forever and they carry a lot of different Tino style pants and jackets that most people would consider essentials in their wardrobe, especially within this workwear type category. Now, next up, we got a huge heavy hitter within this workwear community and that is the brand Carhartt. Now Carhartt has also been around for forever and has also been pretty trendy within the past couple of years with a lot of celebrities wearing them and incorporating it within their outfits. Carhartt pretty much carries a lot of the different staples that you're going to need within this style especially with their Detroit jacket. I think they have a Michigan type shirt or jacket as well but they pretty much just carry a bunch of different like high quality 100% cotton I think it's like duck or th that canvas type of material that they use, but you will literally see vintage Carhartt jackets that are like super, super OG jackets that are still lasting to this day. So definitely a solid pickup if you're looking for anything in any of these categories. You also have Levi's, which is a huge household name. And this is where you're gonna find majority of your denims, your denim jackets, your raw denim pants, your denim pants, you know what I'm saying? This is where you're gonna find everything jean related. You also have some newer brands that have pretty much built their whole aesthetic and their whole look of their brand within this workwear category. So you have some people like Hair and Press then you have one of my favorites which is reese cooper now reese cooper definitely makes like a ton of different combinational pieces that can easily incorporate in any wardrobe you also have helmet lang that also carries a ton of different essential pieces when it comes to different tops and bottoms you can kind of search within their website i'll leave all the links down in the description you also have two places that's going to carry majority of these pieces at a more affordable price and that is going to be vintage or thrift shopping and military 
stores. Now, military stores is gonna kind of be one of those places that you're gonna go for your more like bomber jackets or your more like olive green coats and stuff like that. I know there's a couple of different places out here like Golden Age or you have like your army surplus stores that's gonna carry majority of this stuff. Vintage and thrift stores is kind of obvious. You guys have probably already found a lot of like different Carhartt jackets, Dickies jackets and stuff like that within these stores. Now moving on to categories, we're gonna break down some of the essentials in different places and categories of clothing that you should be looking for to fit that workwear type stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with jackets because I feel like this is everybody's favorite category, but you have a couple of different jacket types. You have your cotton duck type jacket, which is kind of like that canvas Carhartt type of material. Now you also have denim coats and jackets. Now this is gonna be kind of obvious, but you're gonna want a good denim jacket. Everybody should have a good denim jacket in their wardrobe. You also have a couple of different denim jackets as well as like the Carhartt hooded jacket, which is pretty clutch in my opinion. You have bomber liners, which is pretty much the inside lining of a bomber jacket. You also have bomber jacket as well. You have varsity jackets, chore jackets, as well as vests. So those are all the different categories that I would kind of look towards when I'm shopping for stuff like this. Now, when you're seeing outfits within this workwear Americana type style, you're gonna see a lot of blank hoodies now whether the hoodie be white black washed out gray muted tones you're definitely gonna see a lot of blank hoodies you might also see some vintage hoodies within there that might have a graphic on the front but it's a little bit more rare you might also see sweaters in there that is also gonna be either blank or have some type of washed out vintage graphic but sweaters is really nice when it comes to layering stuff as well so now when it comes to bottoms I feel like this is just as important as your outerwear pieces but within bottoms you're gonna see a lot of people wearing like your double knee carpenter pants you're gonna see a lot of raw denim within there you're gonna see some light blue denim now it could be like like blue blue denim for the most part but every now and then you might see like a lighter wash of denim in there you're also gonna see like your dickies chinos which is a super super staple occasionally you'll see some cargos spread across in that joint especially if they're like a good straight leg fitting cargos and lastly you'll see some overalls or coveralls within this category as well now when it comes to shoes i'm pretty sure everybody can agree with me within this category but the most common pair of shoes that you're gonna see within this category is gonna be Jordan 1s or at least some variation of them joints. Now within this Jordan 1 category, you're gonna see more of the white based colorways. So you're probably gonna see like the gray joints that everybody has. You're probably gonna see the Chicago ones, the Celtics or like the forest green type joints. You also have Reebok Classics or Club C's. That's pretty common. You also have those New Balance 550 models that everybody has been wearing, which are pretty fire when it comes to this style specifically. Every now and then you'll also see a pair of chucks in there. This one is a little less common, but I do see it. You also see some Doc Martens or any type of like boot, combat boot, guidi boot type of style shoe. And then lastly, you'll see some Jordan 4 sprinkled within there, especially like your metallic colorways or your um, cool gray colorways, your black cats. Those are usually some that you're gonna see often. Now within accessories, you have hats and you're probably gonna see either like a trucker hat, dad hat, or beanies. So that's pretty straightforward as far as accessories goes you're probably gonna see a tote bag like this like the whole workwear 101 type outfit starter kit whatever you want to call it that's what you have so now that we have the whole style kit out the way i'm gonna show you guys some outfits that i personally put together that i think are some dope workwear type outfits i also leave all the links to these brands down in the description so make sure you guys check that out and we can hop right into it Do it big, yeah. but let's see I got oversized. Need that wheel, uh, mad black with suicides. Mm. I won't miss. Yeah. I put on that time for it for you. For you. Yeah. I remember days I couldn't afford you. Uh, now we hit up double when we pour. Taking trips out to New York just so we can hit the stores. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't know what I'm gonna for. Mama said I less more, but I never picked the phone up. I kept it on it with you. We both got issues. Yeah. You driving me crazy, it's hard to keep it at 10 and 2 yeah, yeah, yeah. But I keep it up, yeah. let's keep it touch yeah. I know it's feeling off, we can get it on chat Like, uh, let's get it right, but how it was yeah. uh, let's get it right, but how it was Back then That's pretty much it for the video, if you guys enjoyed it Make sure you go down and smash the like button Subscribe if you're new And I'll be back to you guys with more videos, man Peace Yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Goddamn